Applications may need to translate an object from one system domain to another. For instance, you may make a REST web service request, cross business unit native call, or vendor request that returns a location object, which you need to map to an internal My Location class. In episode two, we walk through transforming from one object to another with Guava. In this episode, we'll examine how to transform an object into another type with Java 8. Before we get started, there's two concepts to cover. First is the Java 8 function, which accepts one argument and produces a result. The second is a stream intermediate operation method map, which converts each element in a stream into another object via supplied function. The method construct is listed below where T is the type of input to the function and R is the result of the function. So T is what goes in and R is what comes out. Throughout this tutorial, we'll reference two location objects, Google geolocation, which represents an external data object and my location which represents the class for an internal system. The first step in converting an object to another is defining a function. Mentioned earlier, a function will accept a type of Google location and will return an instance of my location. Inside this method we will create a new object my location and set the values passed from Google geolocation. Our mapping between objects is pretty straightforward but you could apply various mappings or business rules. Calling function.apply will apply the function to the given argument and return my location. Next, you might be dealing with a collection of objects to convert. Let's seed our data with random Google locations and call this stream on the list. A Java 8 stream represents a sequence of elements in which one or more operations can be performed, such as reduction and aggregate operations. As we pointed out above, we will call the map and pass in the function to transform the list. Finally, calling collect, we will instruct the stream to return a list of my locations. You might be asking, why not use the standard for each construct? Using a function promotes cleaner, concise code, reusable methods, promotes thinking in a functional manner, and much easier to unit test. Just think, if we didn't use a function, we would have had to copy the same logic to convert a single object and the array list. Hope you enjoyed today's level up. Have a great day.